Hey there. It's November 27th and time for Proverbs 27. Let's jump over there and get right into it here. Now we're getting into something different. I'm calling these warnings and instructions in the New American Standard. First one, don't boast about tomorrow for you don't know what a day may bring forth. Yeah, that's a That's true. This is a good one. That's a really good one here. Let another praise you and not your own mouth, a stranger and not your own lips. Okay. Nobody likes a bragger. Okay. Sounds much better coming from somebody else. And then you can be humble and say, oh, thank you. Right? A stone is heavy and the sand weighty, but the provocation of a fool is heavier than both of them. Provocation of a fool. Somebody provokes you? Ever been provoked by a fool? Most of us have. Wrath is fierce and anger is a flood, but who can stand before jealousy? Right. Jealousy is when you think you've been betrayed by somebody you love. And it always hurts more. Better is open rebuke than love that is concealed. Hmm. Yeah. If you love somebody, tell them often. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but deceitful are the kisses of an enemy. Yeah. A sated man loathes honey, but a famished man, any bitter thing is sweet. Right. Right, when you're full and stuffed after Thanksgiving, nothing looks good. But if you're starving, you'll eat anything. Like a bird that wanders from her nest, so is a man who wanders from his home. That could mean anything. Oil and perfume make the heart glad, so a man's counsel is sweet to his friend. Right? Do not forsake your own friend or your father's friend, and do not go to your brother's house in the day of your calamity. Better is a neighbor who is near than a brother far away. Right. Don't, you know. Yeah, calamity, you want it the closest help you can get. Be wise, my son, and make my heart glad that I may reply to him who reproaches me. Right. You're talking to your kids there. <laughs> A prudent man sees evil and hides himself. The naive proceed and pay the penalty. Yeah. What's that say? That says, stay away from trouble. If you see it, walk the other way. You know, well, that ape just go blundering right into it and you pay the price. Take his garment when he becomes surety for a stranger and for an adulterous woman, hold him in pledge. Basically, get a collateral. Okay, back then, their garments, they were all handmade and the expensive ones were made without any seams. And that was often the most expensive thing somebody had was their was their cloak. So they didn't have cars back then, so very few of them had horses. He who blesses his friend with a loud voice early in the morning, it would be reckoned a curse to him. <laughs> yeah, people don't like being woken up. Huh? A constant dripping on a day of steady rain and a contentious woman are alike. Hmm. Let's not go there. He who would restrain her restrains the wind and grasps oil with his right hand. <laughs> okay, now see, we missed this little... that little semicolon, so we have to read this all together. A constant dripping on a day of steady rain and a contentious woman are alike. 
he who would restrain her restrains the wind and grasps oil with his right hand. <laughs> wow. Yeah. There's such a famous one. Iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. He who tends the fig tree will eat its fruit, and he who cares for his master will be honored. Right. Whoops. We're okay, here we are. As in water, face reflects face, so the heart of a man reflects man. This could be a mirror, you know. As a mirror reflects your face, so the heart of a man reflects the man. That's good. We should we should highlight that. Hmm? Shoal and abandon are never satisfied. That's hell. Nor are the eyes of men never ever satisfied. Neither the the nether world, i.e., the place of destruction. Right? The crucible is for silver and the furnace for gold, and each is tested by the by the praise accorded him. It's been said many different ways throughout Proverbs. Though you pound a fool in a, a fool in a mortar with a pestle along with a crushed grain, yet his foolishness will not depart from him. That's kind of cruel, isn't it? You pound him to a pulp and his foolishness is still there. Well. Know well the condition of your flocks and pay attention to your herds. Right. That means keep your books. Keep your books. Know what's going where. Pay attention. You know, you should always know exactly what you owe and exactly how much money's in the bank. I mean, it's, you should just know that all the time. Okay, and that, that too has a semicolon. So it's read together. So we'll read these together. Okay. Verse 23 and 24. Know well the condition of your flocks and pay attention to your herds, for riches are not forever, nor does a crown endure all to all generations. Right. When the grass disappears, new growth is seen, and the herbs of the mountains are gathered in. The lambs will be for your clothing, and the goats will bring the price of a field. And there will be goat's milk enough for your food, for the food of your household, and sustenance for your maidens. So, yeah, you know, they used goats for milk. They didn't have cows back then, so they used goats for milk, and sheep for, for wool and sacrifice. So that's Proverbs 27. We'll go over our highlights here real quick. Don't boast about it tomorrow, for you do not know what a day may bring forth. Right. And here's a good one. Verse 2. Let another praise you and not your own mouth, a stranger and not your own lips. Right. Nobody likes a bragger. Okay. Nobody. Verse 4. Wrath is fierce and anger is a flood, but who can stand before jealousy? And we talked about that. Jealousy is fat, you know, wrath and anger, but jealousy, it seeds, it eats up inside you because you're betrayed by a loved one. Okay, we highlighted verse 12. A prudent man sees evil and hides himself. The naive proceed and pay the penalty. We talked about that too. I mean, if you're, if you're walking down the street and you see that mob and the, the protesters and people doing stuff turn around and go the other way okay don't just blindly walk into it like a fool did and they'll pay the price okay verse 15 and 16 are together a constant dripping on a steady day of rain and a contentious woman are alike he who would restrain her restrains the wind and grasps the oil with his right hand but you can't you can't restrain a contentious woman you know very powerful women are i mean 
and a famous one, iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. You need to be around people that are that are like you, that share common interests and stuff with you. Okay. As in water, face reflects face, or a mirror, face reflects face. So the heart of a man reflects man. Okay. What's in your heart? People see that. See that by the way you act. I like that. 23 and 24 were together. Know well the condition of your flocks. And pay attention to your herds. For riches are not forever, nor does a crown endure all generations. All right. Talked about that too. Know what's there. Okay. So, that was Proverbs 27. We're getting towards the end of this. We'll probably do... We'll have to sneak Proverbs 31 in there somewhere, you know, probably on the last day, because there's no 31 days for this month, so. But yeah, we're getting into the holiday season. Good for some, not good for others, you know, depending on your memories. But keep coming back, and we'll keep doing this day after day. See you tomorrow.